Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 33 of my Ruthless SSF run on Necropolis League. I've been doing a little bit of farming with the Blade Trap character, but I'm going to let you know right now, I've done the campaign a few times in the last few days. The main thing I'm looking for right now, so the problem with Firestorm, I love the build, it does decent damage, it's really fun to play, but it really struggles against high mobility targets, which is the same issue this character has, so uh, I really need another build. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. And I'll see you near the end. So I did finally take bold undertakings on my tree. And I got that all set up for some more juiced farming. Um, I am going to take thorough exploration. But I'm not going to do that right now. Just because I need to stop deleting all my chance orbs. I've probably used like 50 chance orbs in the last three days. So I need to calm down a little bit. I'm mainly just farming right now for some basic currency. Like jeweler orbs, orbs of fusing, and chromatics. Because I need a lot of those when I reroll new characters. And uh, I'm rerolling a lot, so I'm kind of deleting all my currency. My stash tab is looking pretty grim. Anyway, I got a memory, which of course gave me a cortex. I really like that the memories give you cortex maps now, because before getting it, especially for the feared fight, just felt so RNG. Like you could go the entire league and maybe see one or two cortex drops, and that felt really bad. Anyway, though, the uh, bolt undertaking farming feels great. I haven't noticed a big difference in, like, like, I don't know. I was going to say I haven't noticed a big difference in loot, but that's not really entirely true. I've been getting a lot of currency drops and whatnot, but uh, it hasn't been a dramatic shift. Got another Herald of Thunder, which is cool. I could try to double corrupt it. Got a Baron fight, which we obliterated him. I would like to do a Cyrus fight because I have like four fragments of every other Guardian or uh, Conqueror except for Hesman. But I cannot get a Hesman to drop. I just can't get one. And I just need him. That's all I need. And then I can get that invite done. Get one more point on my tree. But uh, it's not happening. So hopefully my next character I roll can do tier 14s as well. Because I really just need to grind some 14s and get some Guardians, some Conquerors and whatnot. Because uh, I want my invites. So I got a pretty decent temple. I got a double corrupt. Got an Ziri. And to be honest with you, I'm going out of my way to get Ziri's in the temple, which is great because I need the last fragment for the Uber Ziri fight. Plus, as you can see here, she can drop some nice uniques and, of course, the sacrificial garb. The Doriani's Catalyst isn't like a god tier unique or anything like that, but uh, it's pretty strong. I had a pretty decent march of the Legion, so I went for a double corrupt. Oh, they didn't die. Oh, plus two with life. Okay, that's pretty good. Those aren't too bad. I mean, I was going to say I could use them with Smite, and to be honest with you, I might try making a Smite character. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to do that. I might just, like, jump one aura in there, just make it crazy, but we'll see. Oh my god, <laughs> like five support gems. No matter how late it gets in the league, dropping five support gems from one thing feels pretty awesome. I did finally get my uh, Strongbox Scarab, which is pretty sweet. I won't. I didn't get anything like crazy or anything like that, but I mean, I got a lot of like raw currency and just random stuff. Uh, it's kind of funny that I can use Smite to kill trash when I'm waiting for my cooldown. But I gotta tell you, I love Blade Trap, but I definitely need a break from it. I need something that isn't gonna struggle against high mobility targets and something that doesn't have a cooldown. I've been playing it for a while and I really do enjoy it, but uh, I do need a break. Anyway, I did get a tier 17 from the map, which is pretty sick, but uh, the mods were slightly terrifying. <laughs> Minus 20 all res, my god. I will say, though, I'm just going to run it anyway, because why not? If I break the map, it's not a big deal, but first, going to make some prismatic rings, which were both trash, obviously. After all this time, I did finally get the blade trap to level 20. And uh, it's kind of funny, I guess I just thought all my skill gems were level 20, but no. And when I did slash kills, I only have 250,000 kills on this character. So I really haven't even been playing it that long. Uh, anyway, I absolutely failed the map. I got like maybe 10% through the map and then I just got chain killed by this terrifying mob. By the way, can you have that as a specter? The, the like bug that's shooting out the poison? It's basically the, uh, I think it's Act 6, I believe? I don't remember the boss's name, but I'm pretty sure that's who it is. Anyway, I went for a double corruption. We got 21, which is okay, but we lost quality, which is really bad. To be honest with you, getting plus one on that gem really isn't a big deal. It really doesn't do a whole lot. Because you have to remember, this isn't a spell. It's an attack. And attack gems really don't get much from levels. I mean, it should be a net positive for damage, but uh, nothing crazy. And, of course, losing the quality reduces my duration. It's not a huge loss, but I don't like it. Anyway, went for a swap, got some trash, whatever, it's cool. 
I did build up a nice little stockpile of jewelers, fusing and fusings and chrome, so I decided I was going to reroll soon, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to play. I mean, I was going to try to do something fun and let like a double corrupt decide or something like that. But in truth, I really don't have any, like, build-enabling uniques right now. I mean, I have some decent uniques, but nothing really like, oh, if this hits, I'll definitely just make some trash with it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I also had a Harvest Craft, which I've been saving for a little while. It is a 6-link. I'm going to make a Armor Energy Shield base because I don't have one. And it <laughs> it actually mirrored. Okay. Uh, I mean, it didn't... Wow, I actually didn't get a Haunted mod. That's kind of lame. Whatever, I'll take it. I got two six links, they got decent life, got some armor, got some res. I am not complaining. So I ended up leveling a, uh, <laughs> a freaking frost bomb character. I was an occultist. I got to the end of Act 9, and I gotta tell you, I was falling asleep. I was not digging this character, I was not digging this skill. And I know it's like, you know, you can't even see how a character really feels until you get all your ascendancy points and whatnot. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not digging it, I was not feeling it at all. So I decided to re-roll again, and uh, I gotta tell you, the next character felt way better. Decided to play Lightning Trap of Sparks. My god, by far the most smooth campaign experience I have ever felt. You don't have to have any, like, utility support gems. You don't need GMP, you don't need returning projectiles, you don't need anything like that. All you use is damage, swift assembly, and of course, you know, charge traps. Because if you're not using charge traps as a trapper, I don't know what to tell you. You're probably playing Blade Trap. Anyway, though, this character was a freaking dream to play. I didn't even put on a bunch of damage uniques because I just didn't need them. I kept on the all res belt. Didn't really upgrade my wands too often, and <laughs> it was great, dude. We are playing as an assassin. So I do, like, the big downside for assassins when you're playing traps is you can't really trigger your elusive effect because your trap doesn't count as you for elusive. So when the trap crits, it doesn't actually get you the buff. But I do have a little strategy for that, but we'll talk more about that later. Anyway, though, killing Kitava was a joke. Leveling through the axe was great. I will tell you, if you're ever, like, far, like you're in lab jail just farming gems... Just grab yourself a lightning trap of sparks and use that for leveling your alternate characters. My god. Even with the gem at level 1, because I, I was using it to level another character before that, the occultist, and I didn't realize that it was staying at level 1 because I right-clicked it on her. Even at level 1, it carried me all the way to act 4 before I realized the gem was not even leveling up. So yeah, it's it's pretty wild. I definitely recommend you grab one. It took me 4 hours and 32 minutes, which not too bad. I jumped straight into tier 4 as I was doing rare, unidentified, corrupted maps, and it felt fantastic. Everything was just dying. I will tell you, though, because it, it's going to look deceiving when you see the projectiles coming back. I don't believe... I, I'm pretty sure if they get hit by a projectile, when it comes back, they don't get hit again. I'm pretty sure, just by watching how the damage looks when the projectiles come back. But it doesn't really matter, because the clear speed is insane. You're even going to see the balls, like, ping-ponging around corners and hitting and killing enemies. Which feels pretty radical, to be honest with you. When you're doing an incursion on this character, my god, it is hilarious. You'll throw your traps out, and you'll be up to, like, 50, 60 seconds, and you're like, what the heck just happened? I don't even see any enemies. It's pretty fantastic. I highly recommend this skill if you're looking for something to play. And, uh, of course, Assassin is just awesome. Eventually, we're going to have like a 100% critical strike chance, which is going to be sick. And uh, I just went for some corpse crafting here. I do have a couple of things I really need to make. And we got a tier rating, which is pretty nice. I usually go with uh, like somewhere between 200 and 400 rating when I make something. I know you can go all the way up to like 800, 900, or whatever to guarantee all tier 1s. But I do not need 6 tier 1s to be happy. I, I am more than happy with like tier threes, tier twos. That's good enough for me. Anyway, the first corrupt, or sorry, the first temple on this character actually had a double corrupt and a ghost room. So uh, no complaints there. That's pretty sick. I randomly got a pyre ring, which is pretty cool. I'll probably never use it, but I mean, it might be fun to double corrupt. So I still have the Brutus lead sprinkler. I have the 20% quality Cyclopean belt, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to double corrupt it, and if it hits, I will immediately re-roll for Brutus Lead Sprinkler. Does it die? Of course it dies. Okay, moving on. 
I, I feel like the breach room is going to end up being like my new benchmark for characters clear speed even though it's kind of unfair because not every character can just like bounce around corners or you know not everyone's a chieftain but uh, I gotta tell you when you have a character that can just clear this room out it feels incredible I feel like I've said this in the last eight videos so I apologize but I just cannot get over how much I love that room anyway we're up to tier 10s farming on this character is fantastic I mean, I do have to work on a couple of defense things, but to be honest with you, once I hit Uber Lab, uh, things should be getting a lot better. This has been by far my best league for currency. This is my third Exalted Orb. I think I only had one in all of Affliction, and uh, it failed, of course. I mean, the sad thing is it actually hit the life node, which is what I wanted. But I mean, of course, I did not want 18 life, but it is what it is. You can't always hit them all. Anyway, I can do tier 14s on this character, but when I get maps that have like reduced crit taken and stuff like that, it does take me a little longer, but the clear speed, even on higher tiers, is just so nice. You're constantly killing enemies so far away, off screen, around corners. It's pretty funny. So I decided to vow my bottled faith, because why not? And uh, I lost 7 quality, so uh, that's probably why not. I got a second tier rating, which is pretty sick. I almost have enough to do a craft. I mean, granted, I still have to farm some other components, but the tier rating is always the hardest part. And uh, I got a third one. And would you not believe it, but not too long after that, I ended up getting a fourth one. I think it was like 10 or 12 corpses for three tier ratings. I don't think I've ever had that many tier ratings ever. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Can't complain about that. Anyway, Uber Lab is done. So, if you've ever played a trapper as an assassin, you already know your traps do not trigger the elusive effect. However, I have decided to go with a level 9 cast wound damage taken for steel skin, but on top of that, I'm using Orb of Storms, and the way it's going to work is I'm going to take damage, and it's going to summon the Orb of Storms, which is going to crit for me, so it'll be like an automatic elusive for defense, and uh, it's kind of sick, to be honest with you. I've only done it for a couple maps so far, but as you're going to see here, I get hit, boom, elusive. Elusive is not going to keep me alive through everything, but having it just automatically trigger like that is almost better than it triggering all the time with my attacks. At least in my opinion, anyway. Hey, if me it's for in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am level 79, 31% of the way to 80. My resists are capped, but they're not anything special. Uh, can't spell for some reason. A little over eight hours right now. I haven't played too, too much. I've had a lot going on. PT started again, so every Monday I'm going to lose time on that. But anyway, uh, I've deleted a lot of my fusing arms, mainly going for this carcass jack. Because I honestly think if I could six link this carcass jack, it might actually save uh, Frost Bomb for me. But that's kind of a pipe dream. Anyway, this character is amazing. The main reason I played this build was one, I enjoyed leveling with this so much on Occultist. And two, this ring is too good not to use. It's definitely not a perfect ring, like hitting lightning res for the second modifier kind of sucks. But at the same time, at least the ring gives me 80 res, it's not too bad. But the implicits on this thing are just wild, and I really wanted to use them. Uh, I did steal the body armor and the boots from my blade trap, but I didn't actually have to change the colors because we used the exact same colors as blade trap. And for the boots, I don't have to change it, which is great. I took the gloves off of my champion because I really didn't want to have to recolor. Uh, oops. I didn't want to recolor these gloves because these are for my trapper. And to be honest with you, I really don't want to brick that character because it is by far my strongest build. My weapons are okay, to be honest with you. Nothing too crazy. Sorry, my voice is dying. This one's actually, I take it back. This one's kind of crazy. The thing is, though, the crit isn't that great for me because I'm pretty, like, the best thing about Lightning Trap is it gives you that 100% critical strike chance against shocked enemies, which everyone is always shocked. So my crit is pretty insane. Assassin's Mark does nothing for me. I am using Wave of Conviction, but to be honest with you, Wave of Conviction with Hex Touch sucks, dude. It feels so clunky. It feels so weird. I might try to four link it, use faster casting or something, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm just farming tier 14s. I'm mainly using my bolding tree. <laughs> it almost sounds like balding. My bold tree, that way I can get some more mods, get some more currency and whatnot. I do want to farm tier 14s as soon as possible. Because I'm one away from a Cyrus fight. Okay, I could do three Cyrus fights if I could just get three Hesmond. I'm one away from an Uber at Ziri and uh, everything else. I'm not even close. I am halfway to a Maven though, which is pretty sick. Anyway, I have so much farming to do. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you later.